Army's CH-47 Chinook helicopter is often called the workhorse of Vietnam. Early in April 1967, the Army established the feasibility of airlifting these helicopters from their approximate point of manufacture to the battlefields of Vietnam. Airlift began with a partial disassembly of the helicopters at the New Cumberland Army Depot in Pennsylvania. The disassembly involved removal of the pylons, the rotors, and drive shafts, all of which were secured within the helicopter itself. The front and aft transmissions were transported separately. Two Chinooks were actually included in the test, both handled in the same manner. After the partial dismantling, the aircraft were transported overland from New Cumberland to Olmsted Air Force Base, towed by M-52 tractors. Until now, the helicopters, after completion of certain installations and modifications at New Cumberland, were ferried to the west coast and then transported overseas by ship. The ocean voyage alone takes about a month. If the Chinooks could be airlifted, the travel time to Southeast Asia would be greatly reduced. At Olmsted, a special New Cumberland Army Depot crew supervised the loading of one of the Army's largest helicopters, gross weight 33,000 pounds, aboard a C-133B, the largest turboprop transport in the U.S. Air Force inventory. It has a payload capability of over 100,000 pounds. With the helicopter aboard, the cargo masters took off for South Vietnam. The Special Army Depot team assigned to the project flew to the same destination by means of other air transport. The team's mission was to supervise the offloading and reassembly of the helicopters so that they could be swiftly deployed to wherever they might be needed in the combat area. Today, this same function is being accomplished by crews trained by the initial team. The air transport test was a success. Where surface movement by land and sea normally took a total of 46 days, air transport, including disassembly, loading, travel, offloading, and reassembly, required only 10 days, a significant saving of a minimum of 36 days. What was initially a feasibility test has now become standard procedure. Chinooks are currently being airlifted to Southeast Asia on a scheduled basis, and ways are being explored to further reduce the time involved. The new Chinooks are exchanged on a one-for-one -one basis for those that are old or severely damaged. These are flown back to the States by the same C-133Bs for major overhaul and repair. Air transport of CH-47s is not meant to eliminate surface movement, but to supplement it. The shipment of a full company of Chinooks is still done most expeditiously by a freighter. But for the quick replacement of those suffering from attrition, airlift is the most effective procedure. The value of this development to our fighting forces in Southeast Asia is, of course, considerable.